Hi, this is Matt with State of Flex here to review Haunted Mansion 2023, the modern version that is on the, uh, the, the Disney Plus. Um, so this movie's dark. Uh, I don't know why they chose to go with a, almost a naturally lit film, but it looks like it was naturally lit in a brownout. It is so damn dark, you can hardly tell what's going on. And it is the most frustrating thing about the movie. It could be good, but I wouldn't be able to tell because it's too dark. To give you some semblance of what I'm talking about, I'm going to turn off some of these lights and I'm going to have you frustratedly watch me uh, uh, through all of this. Um, yeah, this is pretty similar to what you're going to expect while watching uh, <laughs> Haunted Mansion on the Disney Plus. Um, for the film's positives, I think Lakeith Stanfield uh, does a very good job in the movie. He makes this movie work as best as it can, from what you can see. Um, and I, I really genuinely loved his performance. The rest of the movie is kind of a bunch of creative misfires. Um, I, I didn't respond well to the Owen Wilson character. I, I liked the character, I just think he play, he's too obvious of a choice to play that role. I think you should have done, especially with his character's twist, somebody who is maybe a little less obvious of a swindler. Um, Rosario Dawson is reduced to set decoration in the film. She has almost nothing to offer, which is genuinely distressing because she is one of the best talents uh, that we have out there. I think she is a genuinely phenomenal actress, especially when you give her a role where she can have a little bit of fun. And I urge this. I would have replaced Tiffany Haddish with Rosario Dawson. The whole time I was watching this, I was like, why the hell is Rosario Dawson not playing that character? She would have nailed that character. And Tiffany Haddish is fine in the movie, but she's she almost over the tops it when Lakeith Stanfield and, uh, Stanfield and um, Rosario Dawson are playing much more grounded, muted characters. She just didn't work for me. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis when she's on screen is fine, up until her final scene where she like acts so over the top that it's distracting. And this movie just feels like that the whole way through. But the most annoying thing, besides the fact that I could hardly see anything, is when the ghosts show up, they're the only things providing any kind of illumination. And the last 45 minutes of the movie, you can see a little bit better. Um, to the point where, like, you can make an argument for turning on another light. I'm not going to do it, though. Um, however, even the ghosts in this, they don't offer, like, a nice uh, pearly or purple or blue or green, like, illumina uh, luminescence. They offer, like, this gray luminescence as if, like, Zack Snyder's ghosts were presenting themselves on screen. Even the ghosts the luminary ghosts in this movie are muted, and it's just so annoying. The movie is probably not as bad as I am digging at it, but it's annoying and uh, distracting for so much of the runtime. I do think the last 40 minutes of the movie are pretty solid, but to get, it's over two hours, to get to that point you have to go through quite a bit of annoyingness where I'm just sitting there. I had to turn off every light in the house in order to just see what the hell was happening. And I shouldn't have to do that while watching a movie. I don't know why it was shot like this. And that is my biggest complaint. I recently reviewed Alien vs. Predator Requiem on here, and that movie was uh, shot the same way. And I, I have no idea why people do this outside of cost-saving measures. This movie cost $150 million and they couldn't afford another light package? Like, what's going on? Th that's ludicrous. Um, but there you have it. That's my uh, annoyed review of uh, Haunted Mansion. It's probably better than I'm saying, but I'm giving it two stars. It's, uh, like, it deserved better. And we didn't get that. Also, why didn't this just drop on Disney Plus? 
if you're going to release it theatrically, release it theatrically in October, not July. Uh, they should have learned their lesson with the original Hocus Pocus open in July and bombed out in the box office. Um, they, they did the same thing, they put that in the dumping ground that was July. Uh, it would have served well to come out this month, especially with virtually no, uh, like, uh, nothing to compete with outside of Taylor Swift this weekend. Uh, the, like, this coming weekend would have been a perfect time to drop this movie in theaters or the first week of October. I have no idea what they were thinking. It's batshit to me. But anyway, Haunted Mansion, it's on Disney+. Plus. Uh, if you can figure out how to, like, watch the movie, uh, like, through the darkness, uh, good luck and enjoy. Uh, it's not for me. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and peace.